Hello and welcome to the List List channel. Today I'm going to take you through how to repair a broken thread. I have one example here because earlier today one of mine just broke and as you can see the ends of my dreads are made of pretty old synthetic hair so I'm gonna add a little bit of new chemical in synthetic hair when I attach it but the base is going to be the same <clears throat> so what you start with doing is opening up the dreaded part the part where they were attached so you open it up a little bit more if you have a pretty loose or new dreads then it's very easy to open you just like pull the hair apart with your fingers until there's like maybe one inch of, of open hair and the same thing on the other side so you just open it up a little bit if your dreads are very thick um, you may want to use a comb or a fork to like open, open up this part and you can also use the crochet hook to straighten it up like this so now both ends are pretty open so what you do next is you kind of apply them on each other they're not like straight against each other but like sideways like this so the thick parts are just next to each other and then you wrap the hair around each other so they kind of swallow each other like this you can give it a little roll and see if it looks good it's not too thick and then you just grab the middle and then you just you have the hook parts towards yourself so it's like towards me pull it through the thread then you push it towards yourself so here push towards yourself and then you pull it out and you don't want to pull it out all the way here you want to pull it so it stays inside the thread and you want to do it from all all four directions so you kind of go around and turn the dread around like this as you go keep going and then the other side as well where you wrapped the hair around like this and then my end looks, looks a little bit floppy so I'm just gonna pull the hair inside I prefer having closed end dreads like this one instead of this free ones because I have a tendency to start rolling them when I'm nervous and it didn't work at all they just kind of break into pieces so these kinds of ends are better for me because I leave them alone so when you're done you give it another roll and voila you can pull it a little bit to see if it holds it's not breaking apart so yes it holds and now if you feel that your dread is a little bit too thin if you want to make it thicker for example you can see this part it is much thicker than this part so if you want to make sure the bead doesn't fall out you can thicken the dread by using your own or synthetic hair that you you just pull a piece of it and you make it into a fluffy hair ball and then you just kind of apply it like a coat you just start from one side and you wrap it around so that it's even around the dread okay and then it's the same thing the hook is towards you push it through pull towards yourself the hook and pull the hair inside not all the way out on the other side but just so it stays inside the dread itself like this okay just 
gonna go quickly through this the steel hair so then you kind of wrap it around as you go and I like attaching it down here first so that it doesn't fall off so it kind of looks ready already but I only attached it here and it's still very loose and soft here so then I'm just gonna go around and do some stitches and stitches here and there that's pretty about it and then there's still some loose hair in the base here and what you can do is also grab them and you kind of pull them together with your finger so you know where you have them right here and then when you push the needle through you make sure you don't stab yourself and then you just pull it straight from between your fingers and if you find like any long ones you can pull them together into a little string and then you push the crochet through you roll it around and you pull it inside like this and then when you're ready give it a little roll and there now it's equally thick on both sides and the bead doesn't move anywhere so there's a few techniques it's good to know if you need to repair a broken dread or you want to thicken them or close the ends so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and it was helpful for you and i'll see you in the next one Bye.